Hello, I'm Steve Brooks. Welcome to Dog Bites. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make amazing, healthy meals that you can share with your dog. So in this show, you're gonna learn what you can and cannot feed your dog. Italian seasoning, it has some rosemary in it, which actually helps repel fleas. I have Tyson, an 11-month Rottweiler, a dog named Dusty of Warmop, he's about four months old, Jake, who's 11 and a half, and Smoke, who is a Katrina survivor, I teach them how to stay outside of the threshold of the kitchen and not be under my feet. How to not be under the table and beg and grab for food. Who the trash? Good boy! Give me a beer. <laughs> Aside from my wife and drums, my greatest love is cooking and dogs. And I saw a dog thrown out of a moving car window. He couldn't walk, he was beaten and abused. And I rescued him, but he rescued me as well. I'm a certified pet dog trainer and I've seen how food can affect behavior, just like if you ate junk food all the time, you're not gonna feel well either. So train a lot of celebrities' dogs. I've trained Cheryl Crow's dog and Rick Rubin's dog, and Robert Downey Jr. I did commentary on the Blu-ray version of the movie Marley and Me, the dog expert on Fox News and many news stations over the years. Certified dog trainer Steve Brooks. Steve Brooks. Steve Brooks. Celebrity dog trainer Steve Brooks. I really wanna put my two loves together, and that's cooking and dogs because I use food to train dogs, that's what I do. Today I'm gonna to start out with organic turkey meatballs. Fennel is great for digestion. Don't give dogs raw eggs, these are gonna be cooked. Flax seed sprinkles. Now these are antioxidant and they have omega-3s, which are great for cognitive dysfunction. Never give your dog the cough. When I was a vet tech, I pulled one of these out of a dog's throat with a needle nose pliers. Very dangerous. Yes, comes the fun part. My hands are clean. You can wear gloves if you'd like. You wanna put all the ingredients in the bowl before you start mixing. I've preheated the oven to 350. Now I'm gonna spray this pan liberally with a little bit of canola oil. You don't need much. Canola spray, I should say. I'm just gonna preheat the pan a little bit. I've got some parsley butter. I'm gonna set these in, like I said, and I'm not going to turn them for a while. I'm just gonna keep them on one side until they get nice and brown. You also don't wanna crowd the pan. They don't need to touch each other. Less is more. If you have to do two batches or use two pans, you can do that. I want you to take a nice look at that golden brown color with that parsley on the outside. And just give them another minute here before I start to shake them around. Jake has territorial aggression, redirected aggression, and dominance aggression. Turkey has tryptophan, which is the precursor to serotonin. It helped mellow Jake out. We're gonna do a filet mignon with some zucchini and some squash and a lobster tail. Too much salt is not good for a dog's kidneys. Less is more. We're gonna make a parfait together. I usually have it for dessert, sometimes for breakfast. It's healthy, you could share it with your dog. Yogurt, great for dogs with diarrhea. Cinnamon is great for a diabetic dog. Do you know dogs love berries? Blueberries are good brain food. They add shine and sheen to your dog's coat. Obesity is a huge problem in pets, just like it is with people. I'm gonna teach you how to get your dog in shape and look good. The reason it's called Dog Bites, we're gonna teach you how to feed little bites to your dog. You don't have to give your dog a whole hot dog. You've gotta know what your dog's eating. You want a dog with an hourglass shape. You want a dog where you could see the spine. You want to feel the ribs, you don't want to see the ribs. You don't want a table back you could rest a beer on. Really, these are amazing meals that you're going to love to share with your family. Hey, I'm Steve Brooks, and you're watching Dog Bites. Good boy!